Welcome back to the Pack Chat Hour Student Voice Opinion segment. I'm Jack Polishuk, joined by co hosts Caleb Taylor, Tom V. Sankoli, and guest Reagan Hill as we discuss this week's much trending topics. Let's get started. First, a series of controversial changes have been made to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Twitter has announced that starting March 20th, users have to pay for two factor authentication, which means without a Twitter Blue subscription, which costs $11 a month for mobile users, users will not be able to add security to their account. On top of this, much like Twitter, Facebook and Instagram have also announced a paid verification program for the services, which is that blue check mark you see next to some pro popular profiles. The program is called Meta Verified and it will cost $15 a month for mobile users. Um, are y'all gonna buy this? What, what are we thinking here? Definitely not. No. Not for me. I, I don't understand why people feel the need to, you know, be verified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, like it's, it's kind of cool to see that blue check mark, I guess. But it's yeah. honestly just to gain followers. That's honestly yeah. the main reason. It, it's a game. It, it's just like a... And for that much money, <laughs> though, it's all a game. like, it's, that's too expensive. And I feel like yeah. they, they mentioned in the article that it was, um, like, supposed to protect your account more from, like, other people hacking it. Like, yeah. I feel like they'd be taking more information from you than, yeah. I don't know. But it's don't just you money gain grabber. more attention because there is a check mark? Yeah, but I feel like blue check marks are only for celebrities. Like if yeah. I see a blue check mark, I want- If you're not famous- And like, you, you, don't don't need, you don't need a blue check mark. No, Did like, you say exactly. it was $15 a month? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. For, and, I mean, it's different for like websites, like mobile users, but it's like ridiculous. Right. And like two-factor authentication is like an important, like vital thing that like shouldn't like, why would you make somebody pay for that? It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, this, next up, the Supreme Court is currently hearing arguments for the case Gonzalez versus Google, brought up by a family of an American who died in the 2015 Paris terrorist attacks, with the argument that Google and its subsidiary, YouTube, did not do enough to prevent recruitment tactics and videos used online by ISIS. The case is centered around Section 230, which protects the host's website while prosecuting the poster of potentially dangerous material. Google has won in the lower courts, but that conclusion could be at stake. So have y'all kind of like looked into this case and what do we think of the whole, you know, like court case? You know, I don't, I honestly think that there's nothing Google can do to limit that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's, it's literally like the internet. You can't really limit what people post and that's honestly like a violation of public speech. So I feel yeah. like, <clears throat> yeah. Totally. I, I actually feel like, um, with, with YouTube's recent policies, like cracking down on, you know, like demonetizing videos with, you know, bad language and, you know, themes they don't deem people should see. I feel like it's kind of upsetting that they're letting stuff this bad slip through the cracks, you know, and like people are very obviously being affected a lot by it. So mm -hmm. isn't this a violation against like the freedom of speech in like yes. the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> for sure. No, it totally violates like free speech online. And if this case goes you know, like a different way. It could totally affect how people post on YouTube, how people post online, what people can and can't say. Right. right. So this could really heavily affect free speech. Yeah, I'll be following. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, I think it should be, um, there should definitely be some form of like punishment. Like I think the company should be held liable, but I don't think it should affect, you know, the greater population. I think it mm -hmm. should be a centralized. I issue. agree. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's not like they're recommending these videos or like right, these right, recruitment right. videos, whatever they were talking about. So like everybody, like you, you very have to much have to way. look. Right. You, you yeah. Will, yeah. Yes. So yeah. For sure. Um, finally, Antarctic sea ice levels have dropped to record low levels for the second time in the past two years. According to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, ice dropped to 737,000 square miles, which is just before the previous record of 741,000 in 2022. This is not to be confused with the Arctic sea ice, which has already been on a steady decline in the past de decade. But this sudden decrease in Antarctic sea ice levels is leaving some scientists worried. Quote, the question is, has climate change reached Antarctica? Is this the beginning of the end? Will the sea ice disappear for good in the coming years in the summer? Said scientists from the Alfred Wegener Institute in German, Christian Haas. So is this something we should be concerned about? What do y'all think? Many animals are going extinct, definitely. Like I heard polar bears are like starting to go down mm. and that's kind of sad, but yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely has to do with climate change and global warming. I know that all the, the greenhouse gas emissions that are producing all the CO2 into the atmosphere is going right back down into the ocean, causing mm. all the, the coral reefs to start bleaching around like half of the Great Barrier Reef is now um, 
bleached, it's all white, it's all dead, and it's just, just happening to the Antarctic right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not as educated on the issue as you. There's guys, not a ton I can yeah. add to what both because both y'all said like yeah, really yeah, good yeah. things. Like yeah. yeah, I agree. Climate change sucks. People, <laughs> it's it's you know it's a really hot topic issue, um, and it, I feel like it's it's being kind of politicized more than it should be. You know, mm -hmm. like they're they're making it more of a um, a political issue than like a world issue. You know, and I think if bipartisanship, you know, we could just right get our leaders to work together. You know, we could definitely put a dent in it. I agree. It's affecting the whole world. It's affecting our planet. And I feel like we should be focusing on that more than some political issues. For sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's all we have for you today with CPHS News. I'm Jack Polishuk. And remember, T-Wolf Pack, there's always time to chat.